Alright, so welcome to the best part of the game. Where you have to sit through an auto scroller for three minutes. But what makes this so great is that you're not sitting through an auto scroller, you actually still have stuff to do. And it's kind of hard to explain. But basically, all you're doing in these two auto scrollers is collecting all the gems. And it's really important that you want to collect all the gems in this one. And really, there's not much to it. Just try to follow along with what I'm doing. Or, you know, if you come up with your own movement and stuff, you know, that's all good too. Like for this fireball, I like to wait for the second cycle and then just do that. Once that fireball goes down, just cape to that one. Same here. But this is actually the only real uh, frame saver. When the two fireballs on the edges go back into the lava, that's when you want to grab these three gems. Because if you try to, while they're on screen, the game is going to lag. Like, watch this. You see that lag? And you want these gems, you don't want to skip them. So just wait for the two far side fireballs to go back in the lava and you'll reduce all that lag. Just like that. This chest here has a nice piece of bread. So you, prob you probably want that. Especially if you're down to one heart here. Because this section coming up is pretty easy to get hit if you don't know what you're doing. And by the way, this chest has this uh, thing. I don't even know what it's called. But if you get it, it's a bonus. Like, it brings you to a bonus thing. So it actually doesn't waste any lag frames to hit it like this. You know, if you just want to have fun and just do it for the fun of it. But you probably just don't want to bother with it. So like for this part here, this is probably where I should say what I do exactly. You probably just want to follow exactly what I'm doing here. Grab this ledge, wait for this fireball to pass Aladdin, then jump up, jump at these two gems, jump back at that red one, cape to this one, jump on this little stalactite here, grab the red gem, cape over to this one. And you want to try to do that exact cape that I did to that red gem. Because it's really easy to miss the stalactite. And to just bounce right in the lava. And if you only have one heart at this point, you'll die. So, And this is like the one place in the game that you don't want to die. Because it's really salt inducing. So just try to copy exactly what I'm doing there. The, this is just messing around here, just trying to make the auto scroller a little more bearable. And then if you want to grab this red gem easily, what I like to do is pretty much wait for this uh, lava log thingy to just about reach the lava on the ground, and then do a short jump to the moving stalactite and don't hold jump just let Aladdin do a neutral bounce
Just like that. You can also use the cape at the end of it if you're afraid of falling in the lava. But this red gem is actually a little tricky to grab, so... And then for this one, this one's kind of easy too. I just wait until this platform starts moving. And then I'll do a full jump onto the red gem. Just like that. Because if you try to go earlier... That'll happen. Or you could even miss this stalactite completely. So, you pretty much just want to do that. And then jump onto here. And all you're doing is just waiting for the screen to scroll, and then you're done with that auto scroller. Whoa. Let me, uh, turn you down here. Alright. And then, this is the auto-scroller that knocks people up all the time, and even myself until I learned to speedrun this. But I'll actually give you a pretty easy way to memorize this. So, you just want to go to, like, the last three quarters of the screen. If you stay in around this area, then you're fine. The lava is never going to hit you. So if you're towards here, you're fine. Don't don't worry about the lava behind you. If you're like here, it's going to hit you towards the end. You'll actually be okay here for a little bit. But towards the end of this auto scroller, it'll hit you. So be careful about that. You just want to be like on the last three quarters of the screen and if you're really far like here then you're just making it that much more difficult for yourself to react to what's in front of you and I mean of course I can do it here because I've been playing this game on and off for two and a half years actually almost three years now but I mean even you saw there I just died because it's hard to react so just stay around here and then, at the beginning here, you're going to have three hills to go over, like this. So just remember that one, two, three. And then after this third hill here, you can line up with the tip of that hill. And that'll let you not have to do anything for a bit and you'll be able to get over the next hill without doing anything. See? And you're even fine from the top hill as well. And then... It's another three hills that you have to go over. And then it's this part. So, one... Two... Three. Line up near the top of the hill idle here until you see the next hill and then one two and three and then it'll bring into this tunnel all you do just press down a little bit you'll get past those boulders and then just practice this little part here go to the end of the screen and you're fine So just remember, go over three hills, rest for one hill, and then go over three more hills. And of course this one here, you want to stay close to the hill, because if you're like up here, you'll get hit by that boulder. And also this isn't tight a tight window here to stay idle. You got a pretty lenient amount of room to do that. But you can even be down a little bit. You'll still make it. It's just a general cue. So yeah, three hills, 
idle for one hill, go over three hills again. Then you get brought here, just press down a little bit, and then up a hill, down the hill, and you're good. And that's it for the auto scrollers. I don't want to put the next world here because it doesn't deserve to be grouped with a three minute set of auto scrollers. So I hope you especially enjoyed this part of the tutorial. Because this is the best part of the game, obviously. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to ask in either the Aladdin Discord or you can message me any kind of message anywhere. You can spam your questions to me, I don't mind it at all. And that's it. See you for the next world, which fortunately has actually good gameplay and not all the scrollers. So, see you in the next